Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by. This is Sandy from Color Creatively. And I want to do a black background on one of the pictures in this book by Johanna Basford, Worlds of Wonder. And I thought I would just uh, show you my technique. Um, and as you can see, that doesn't look very colored very well. But um, I did it on purpose. Uh, I took a black pencil and use a budget-friendly pencil. Don't use your polychromos or, or um, Prismacolors. Just use a budget-friendly pencil and coat the area that you want black. And I'm doing this as an extra barrier. And then I'm going to go over it with this Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Big Brush Black Pen. Or I will use the Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pen, the smaller one. So uh, always, always test this out in your book. Even if you buy this same book, another copy of it, please test it out. There's no guarantee that the publisher is going to be using the same paper every time he prints the book. And I tested it here. And as you can see, it did not go through at all. But I put the black pencil down as an extra insurance policy, and I did it with the black pencil and without, and neither one bled through. But I felt better using the black pencil first, and I did it off camera because I didn't want to bore you with coloring in that black pencil. So now I'm going to use these two pens, and then when I get the black in, I am going to use this Winsor Newton ink. This is really neat. It's This is the silver one. It, it comes in a bottle like this, and it's ink. And you shake it really well, and we're going to make um, our stars in the background, and I'm going to color the moon silver. Okay, I keep it in its original box. So... And clean up with this on your brushes is soap and water. Although I believe it's permanent when it dries. Okay, let's get going. And uh, I don't want to make the video too long, but I just want to show you the technique and how it works. Uh, so let me zoom in. Okay, and I am, after I coated it with the black, I'm going to move, be moving my book, folks. Um, I have to see, and I have a little bit of glare in here. Now, there were stars in the sky here, but I covered over them because they're not going to look good with, with the uh, stars I put in. And I'm going to turn the book around. Sorry, folks. Whoops, I'm hitting my my tripod here. Okay. Um, I need to go this way so I can see better. And this will make, a, to me, a better background than using acrylic paint. I personally don't like the feel or the look of acrylic paint. And this... Um, gives it a different, I'm going to take that tissue out of my book, and I'm going to be turning it. Sorry, folks, but I need to um, be able to see it. There's a little glare in this room, and also I need to be at a certain angle. I don't want to go outside the lines. And um, after I get this sky on this particular picture colored, and the stars in and the moon. Um, I'm not sure, but I think I might try a background in the back if I feel that it needs it. But if it doesn't, then we will leave it like that. But I'm pretty sure with all this white space that we can do a background also around this picture. And this is a big brush. It's very nice on these Faber-Castell. And the black is the only one that comes with a big brush. Unfortunately, I wish them, they would make some of the colors with a big brush, but they don't. But the black, they do. Okay. 
Okay, I hope you guys are having a great week and had a great weekend. This is a Memorial Day here in the United States where we honor our military who have given the ultimate sacrifice. So um, today is Memorial Day, I believe, Monday, the 31st of May, 2021. And uh, there's a lot of celebration on television. And this should dry rather quickly, so by the time we get finished with this, I should be able to put the stars in. I just want to go very carefully here by my drawing. And I don't want to cover up anything that I want. Okay. Whoa, I went a little bit over. It's very easy to go over the edge. So I want to make sure that I go carefully around my image. Okay, I'm going to turn my book again. This really doesn't take that long. I guess it depends on your drawing, if how detailed it would it is. Um, so, but it's worth it uh, once you get the black background in. And I and and whatever coloring book you're using, please always test on some page. Oops, I'm taking my moon out a little bit there. Test your marker um, and pencils or whatever medium you're using on that paper. Sorry, folks, but I'm going to be turning a lot here around the moon. Always, always test your your um, mediums. And I feel that the black pencil gives it an extra barrier. Because I have had some coloring books where the paper seems sort of thick, but it did bleed through somewhat. And uh, so you just never know. Each coloring book pay, pay, paper can be totally different. Okay. Whoa, I'm off camera. I'm sorry. I'm not a very good video maker, folks. I'm trying to get better. There's a lot of technology that I don't know. And uh, I haven't had anyone to help me learn it. And um, or take the time myself to try to figure it out. That's hard. When each day is so busy and so full and goes so fast. Now, if there's any coloring books that you'd like to do a color along in, please list it below in the comments of this video. And I'll, if I've got that book, I'll put it on my list of um books that we're going to do color-alongs in. <clears throat> so, I've already had uh, several requests, so I have that, you know, those books in a pile. I'm getting ready, starting the first, this first week of June. 2021 to do my color alongs again. 
So I'm not sure exactly what day this week I'll get started on it, but um, I'm going to do that. It would be nice to know from you guys which books you have and which ones you would like to color along in. I have a lot of coloring books in my stash and sometimes I never know what other people would like to see. So that information would be helpful. Okay, I am, oh, I'm so sorry. I, boy, this video is not going to be good. I think what I need to do is I'm zoomed in a little bit too close. There we go. That'll help me stay on camera better. And there's little plants here that I want to go around if at all possible. You know what, I'm going to go over that. It doesn't really matter. Now that one's sticking out. Hmm. I'll cover it up with uh, some white acrylic paint. I didn't realize there was a little bit of a plant over the border. Okay, let me use my other pit pen. This is where I wanted to use it, and I'm not doing it. Um, the small tip. There we go. That's much better to go around. I sort of botched up those flowers. And it goes easier around the image here. Quicker. So I, if you're interested in getting these pens, I would buy the large one and the small one. So you have them both. The small one would be too small to do this large area. So you do need that for the, the edges. And I, the other one does pretty good up till now. Okay, I'm going to color this at a later date, the image, but today on this video, it's just going to be doing the background and the products that I use to do backgrounds black. I don't do too many black backgrounds, and I need to start doing that. Okay, um, I'm just wondering if I should cover that whole thing up there. I think so, because it's going to look weird. So those little flowers are gone. And then um, no one's going to know. And then I will go around the edge of this mandala for that one little spot that's sticking out. Okay, let's let that dry. And then I think this side is already dry. Okay. I'm going to go and I have to shake up my Wins Winsor Newton ink, the silver one. Very good. I will put a link below to this and the pit pens. Um, I love pit pens. They're great. Um, I'm going to shake it really well. And I've got two different size paint brushes here. I'm not sure which one. I think the long skinny one will be the best. Um, but I have two. One's a little bit fatter than the other. They're just inexpensive paint brushes. And I don't want to splatter this paint anywhere. So I'm going to try to figure out how to, you know, it's, it's about dry. Let's look. It did not bleed through at all on the back of this other page. Okay. And that's what I want. And I don't have that acrylic paint feel, which I like. But uh, now that looks weird in the light there. There was sort of a, but that's not going to show. And even if it, it's it's not streaked to me, but it's I see the light 
gives it a streak, but that's okay. It doesn't look that way in person. It looks very flat and black like that. But we're going to add this. Um, I'm still shaking. I want to make sure I shake it up really good. If not, it doesn't work that well. Okay. And I am going to just dip in here. I dip in the cap. And... I'm going to just put dots. Oh, that was it, my tool. Hold on. I didn't want to do it with a paintbrush. I wanted to do it with these tools. These are like a clay shaper, and these are different sizes. I'll put a link to these if I can still find them. I bought them years ago on Amazon, and um, I believe they're called clay shapers, and they're metal, and you can use them with, and they're going to make the perfect circle here, this large one. Okay. Wow, I wish I didn't have that terrible glow. There we go. Um, let me move here. Yeah, and then you can wipe it off. You don't even need to use a brush. These are great. I've used them for other acrylic or painting pro projects that I wanted to put on my drawing. And I'm just going to add a lot of these little, instead of white pen, gel pen, I'm using this. Maybe I'm getting too many stars, I don't know. Let me try to be more random. I'm getting a lot there, maybe too many. But it's silvery and it glit. They, it, it's metallic. This is the greatest stuff. It's ink. Okay. Um, I usually practice or try to sometimes, and I haven't. I'm just doing this cold turkey. So I'm hoping that it comes out. I did the pencil ahead of time because I also have limited time to make this video today and I wanted to get it made and I didn't want to bore you. Make it round. Whoa. I got to quit talking and concentrate on what I'm doing here. Okay. Let me... What I do is I don't dip in to the uh, bottle. I shake, put the cap back on and shake it up and use what's in the cap. Maybe I'm getting too many stars. I don't know, folks, but I just want to show you the technique here. And it's just a personal... Um, like I like it better than the acrylic black acrylic paint or any other kind of acrylic paint. I do use acrylic paint for highlighting or doing different things depending on my picture. This is going to look funny though. I know what I can use the brush for is the moon. That's why I got it out. Hmm. Wonder how that's going to look. Wow. Well. It's okay. It's more like pointillism, where you make a background with a lot of little circles and dots. So this will be different. I don't want to make those in a straight line either. I have to stagger them. It has to be random. You make everything in a straight line and it's not, and I'm getting those too big. So I have to watch what I do here. Some are big, some are small. Okay, why don't we go ahead, instead of finishing that whole thing, I am going to go ahead with my brush and paint my moon in.
And this ink is designed to cover up certain um, things in your book. So you could use, there's different colors of it, and they have white and black and gold and silver. Um, you could use it to alter pictures, and I've done that before. And there's some there's a picture in Hannah Carlson's book that I want to alter. Um, not, I'm sorry, not Hannah Carlson, and Maria Trolle on the book Luna. The little girl has a half moon on her forehead in some of the pictures, and I'm going to take that out with a white uh, ink like this. There we go. I drew that moon back in. And maybe now that I've colored the moon, I might have too many silver stars here. Now, I saw some people do a background with a lot of silver or white stars, or circles, I'm sorry, and it came out looking beautiful. So, I don't know. We'll find out. Go back to this. And I'll let that dry, and if I find it needs another coat, I'll put it on there, but it, so far it doesn't look like it's going to. Yeah, I'm doing too many. I should have done it more mm. random. But, oops, I'm running out of ink here. So I'm going to put the lid on, shake the bottle. And I don't want to drip anything because it's permanent. Just get enough ink on there to dab it. I don't really need to draw it round if I dab it with an, a proper amount of ink. Uh, I can have some larger, some smaller. Mm. You could also make different shapes, I guess, on here, anything you wanted. We won't go too close to the moon. You can do this your way just you may have better ideas than I do so if you do I hope you'll share it with us leave a comment below okay I need more ink in my cap here yeah I got lots of too many stars but I think I'm gonna oh, I mean I think I have to go with it but next time I'll be a little more I'll space them out a little bit more. Although some of these are larger, some are smaller. And it's surely going to be a different black background than I've done before. So Uh, you could do this with a metallic acrylic paint, too, if you wanted to. So, on the sparkly here. I love this Winsor Newton ink, and I haven't used it enough. I've used it on some of my Hannah Carlson books. 
but uh, I've got to get going with it on some of my other books too. Okay, let's see. Oh, I smeared it. Okay, folks, please don't do that. So right in here, I have to take some white acrylic paint and fix this up. Oh, sheesh. Okay. I am not too good sometimes. Okay, let me wipe this off, my tool off with a... Now, I will list these clay shaper tools in the description below if I can find them again on YouTube, or I'm sorry, Amazon. Anyway, that's going to be my sky, my black sky with a lot of silver. And I think you can see the silver, and um, you can do it your way, as many stars or dots as you would like. And I'm going to color this picture. And then I'm going to think about doing something here in the background. So there will be another uh, video coming after I get this colored. So um, let me back out and take a little bit. Uh, well, where's my zoom? There we go. Take a little bit different look at this. So. Anyway, this is the way you can make a black background using Winsor Newton ink, um, the Pit Pins by Faber-Castell, and just a budget-friendly black pencil. So, there you have it. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So until we meet again, happy coloring.